Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the formation and the effects of oxides of nitrogen. Right, when we look at combustion, if we take any fossil fuel and we react it with oxygen in air, we will get carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and water produced. The carbon dioxide comes from combustion, the sulfur dioxide comes from your sulfur impurities in your fossil fuels and your water also comes from combustion. However, there is a side effect. The exhaust can get really, really warm. And when it does, nitrogen, N2, which makes up 78% of our air, can react with the oxygen. And when it does, it can form a nitrous oxide. Now, there are various forms of nitrous oxides. As you can see here, we've got NO2, NO, and so on. For now, I'm just gonna put an X to show that that number of oxygens could be anything. Now, the problem with forming these nitrous oxides is they are atmospheric pollutants. So they go up into the atmosphere and they pollute it. They can also cause acid rain. They react with the rainwater to make nitric acid. NO2, nitrogen dioxide, can also form a toxic reddy brown gas. When inhaled, that causes breathing problems such as bronchitis, which is obviously really bad for health. So, what we can do is we can use catalytic converters. So if all cars have a catalytic converter in them, and what happens is they convert that nitrogen oxide back into nitrogen, which is harmless, and as I said, 78% of our air. It's also important to do this because if we don't, the sunlight can react with it to form some sort of smog, which makes visibility very difficult. And that really is everything you need to know. So I've got a few questions for you here. Number one, explain how nitrogen oxides can form in car exhausts. Number two, nitrogen reacts with oxygen to form dinitrogen pentoxide. They've given you the formula N2O5. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. So as long as you can remember, we talked about nitrogen being N2, oxygen being O2. You're given that nitrogen pentoxide is N2O5. All you need to do now is have a go at balancing it. Question three, describe two impacts the formation of nitrogen oxides can have. And then number four, how can we treat those oxides to prevent them from entering the atmosphere? So what did I say that we used that gets rid of those nitrogen oxides and turns them back into nitrogen? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So explain how nitrogen oxides can form in car exhausts. So the first thing to remember is nitrogen reacts with oxygen and in what conditions? High temperatures. So one mark for nitrogen reacts with oxygen and one mark at high temperatures. Question two, that's the balanced equation. So you should remember nitrogen is N2, you should remember oxygen is O2, and then we put our arrow in, which makes N2O5. Now what I always say here, if you've got a big compound that's odd, double it to make everything even. So I'm gonna double my N2O5, which is gonna give me four nitrogens on the right and 10 oxygens on the right. So I go back over to the left, I've got two nitrogens, I need four, so I put a two in front of it. I've got two oxygens, I need 10, so I put a five in front of it, and that's balanced. You get one mark for N2 plus O2 goes to N2O5, and one mark for your balancing. Question three, describe two impacts the formation of nitrogen oxides can have. Number one, it's an atmospheric pollutant. Number two, it can cause acid rain. And then number three, NO2 is a toxic gas that can cause breathing problems or bronchitis. Question four, how do we treat these oxides to prevent them from entering the atmosphere? Nice and simply, you use a catalytic converter. And that is everything you need to know. So I have got a review question for you, which is summarizing everything we've just talked about, explain how nitrous oxides form, their dangers, and how they can be dealt with, which is bringing together everything we've just talked about in those four questions. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.